Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today let's solve another Lico Weekly contest question, the furthest building you can reach. And this is another question asked by Google. So let's take a closer look. The question statement. So we are given an integer array heights representing the heights of buildings. And we also have some bricks and some letters. So we will start from uh, building zero and move to the next building by possibly using bricks or letters. And we're moving from uh, building I to the next building, uh, I plus one. If the current building height is greater or equal to the next building height, then we don't need to use uh, any letter or bricks. But if the current building height is less than the next building, then we can either use uh, one letter or uh, the height difference amount of bricks. And we have to reach the furthest building as we can with the given bricks and letters. So for this example, we can just jump down from building zero to one. But from building one to two, we will need to use four bricks. And then building two to three, we will just jump down. No need to use bricks or letters. And from building three to four, since we only have one brick left, so we will need to use uh, the one letter. And at building four, we are running out of bricks or letters. So the furthest building we can reach is four in this case. And actually the graph here is uh, kind of misleading because from building one to two, we can use uh, the letter and then building three to four, we only need to use three bricks. But either way, the furthest building we can reach is still uh, building four. And a key intuition to solve this question is that uh, it's obvious that the ladder is more valuable than the bricks because with ladder, we can jump any amount of height difference. So we want to save ladders for large height difference. And then we want to use bricks for a small height difference first in order to reach the furthest uh, building to go as far as possible. And the best data structure we can use to keep track of the smallest uh, height difference we have so far is minimum heap or so-called priority queue. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and the code is pretty uh, short and clean. So first create a heap data structure and then go through the array uh, first calculate the height difference at the current point. And if the height difference is bigger than zero, it means that we have to use either bricks or letters. But first, uh, just put the height difference into the heap. And if the length of the heap is bigger than the number of letters, it means that we have to uh, use bricks. So we will subtract the smallest height difference uh, from bricks. And if we are running out of brick, it means that the furthest uh, building we can reach is the current point, current index i. And if we are able to reach to the end, then we will return the length of heights minus, minus one. Now let's see the code in action. And here we will be looking at example two. So for uh, this heights array, we have 10 bricks and two letters. So starting from index zero, go to index one, we have a positive height difference. So we will push uh, the height difference eight into a heap. And then at index two, it is a negative height difference. So we can just jump down from uh, building one to building two. And next is uh, index three. The height difference is five. So we will push five into a heap. And since five is smaller than eight, so five will be pushed to the front of the heap. And building three to four. And index four is negative height difference. And at index five, the height difference is uh, 18 minus three, 15. So we will push 15 into the heap. 
So now we have uh, three height difference in a heap. It, it means that we are running out of letters since we only have two letters. So now we need to start using bricks. And in this case, we will pop the smallest height difference from the heap, which is five, and subtract it from bricks. So the bricks will become uh, five. After the subtraction, And at index 6, the height difference is 20 minus 18, which is 2. So we will add it into the heap. And again, we have to use bricks. So we will subtract uh, 2 from bricks, and we, it will become 3. And at in index 7, it's negative height difference. And at index 8, the height difference is uh, 16. So we will add it into the heap and pop the smallest difference, which is 8. But now the bricks will become a negative 5 after the subtraction. It means that we don't have enough bricks to reach to building 8. So it means that we can only get to uh, index 7 in this case. So the output is 7. And this will conclude the algorithm. And finally, let's review. So the key algorithm to solve this question is that we want to save letters for a large uh, height difference. And we want to use bricks for a small height difference first in order to reach the furthest building. So the data structure we will use is a minimum heap or priority queue. And the time complexity, since we are using heap, uh, is unlock k and the space complexity is big O of K. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.